Over 3 million Americans have a speech disability known as stuttering or stammering. When you can't get all the words out of your head as well as you'd like to, this can lead you to think that you don't really have that much of a voice or that people aren't really listening. And this doesn't just happen to a lot of average people, but a lot of well-known people have had to take some sort of therapy to overcome something like this. As seen in the King's speech, this film covers King George's the sixth struggle with a speech disability and how he and what he does to overcome it. I'm going to review this movie and talk about how it relates to you and I. So I've definitely been nervous before speaking in front of classmates, in front of coworkers, and I've definitely been nervous speaking in front of people who are interviewing me. Everyone knows what it's like to have all eyes on you all at once and feel the pressure and we probably don't have a speech disability. Um, for people who do, like King George VI, it's an immense amount of pressure on them when they get up in front of everyone, especially someone of his position. So we can all relate to this film because we've all struggled with something like this before. Everyone gets nervous. It's a natural thing. It's just what we do to overcome our mental processes to help us be able to speak better in front of people. It definitely matters because this can change the way someone thinks about you and what you're saying. <clears throat> in the next few moments, I'm going to give you a brief summary of the movie and tell you its connection with public speaking. So King George VI, who is also known as Bertie, um, discovers that he has this disability at five years old. His wife, Queen Elizabeth, um, discovers a doctor who gives him ways to better like, have sentence fluency and better word flow. This doctor is known as Lionel Lowe, and he has some unorthodox ways of helping Bertie with this struggle that he has. Um, while receiving verbal therapy, Bertie's dad actually dies, and David, his older brother, is next up in line to take over the throne. Now, David is in love with someone who was previously divorced, so he can't technically marry her and decides to not go on with being king. Bertie is now next up and has to fill in for his father and realizes the struggle that he's going to have to take on by having this disability and not being able to speak in front of people. How could a king not be able to speak for a bunch of people? So as he does this and he's taking on the throne, England enters in war with Germany. Now he has to announce this to his nation and so he has a three minute prepared speech and he is ready to go, very nervous, and the doctor, Lionel Logue, is just there kind of helping guide him through the speech. And he doesn't do, like, a flawless, effortless job, but he does amazing, and his country is proud of him having to have spoken so well with his speech impediment. So now that you know a little bit about the movie, I'm going to share my opinions and the, the ups and downs of... Um, the directing and the and the acting, I guess. So, <clears throat> the only thing that I really didn't like was how slow it was, but I definitely give it credit because it's not a crazy action movie. I mean, it's about someone who has a speech impediment. There's not going to be a whole lot going on, but the director does a great job of keeping you interested and keeping your eyes on the screen by having some artistic angles and camera views. The actors also do a great job of making you feel like you're there and you're able to participate in Bertie's struggle and you feel his emotions. Um, they made it just really realistic. Um, he was serious and frustrated and goofy with his kids. You know, it was just, it was very realistic. Um, I wasn't surprised when the actors won, you know, the Best Picture at the Academy Awards. It was, they did a flawless job, in my opinion. Um, most people, like me, didn't think that they would like it at first. Um, it seems like it would be a very boring movie because it did kind of start slow, but it was very intriguing and interesting, and I definitely loved watching it. Um, this movie relates to public speaking because, I mean, he's a king. He is speaking to a nation. I mean, that is not something that a lot of people have to do, let alone someone with a speech impediment. 
Um, the title itself kind of gives away the fact that it has to do with public speaking, but it's a lot more than that. It's, it's about overcoming something that you thought you never could. <clears throat> he, there was ways that he dealt with um, speaking in front of people. The doctor, like a teacher would, gave him better techniques and ways to speak and like someone would practice in front of a mirror or practice before the you know the big moment or whatever we've done that before as a teacher would the doctor did um, <clears throat> the voice in this movie was priceless I mean he has to be able to have a voice for a country and yet he has a speech impediment now in the end he was able to overcome something that was so such a big deal to him and everyone was so proud of him um, that he was able to do that so anyone who is a part of the three million people who <clears throat> have a speech impediment in America I mean I would hope that they get the treatment to overcome it because in this world, your voice is priceless. <clears throat>